Yeah. So we've got both the uh, traditional fighter characters going at it. And I've actually played legit 247 on uh, Quick. Very good. Oh, no, no. They both just SD'd. Okay, so this is game one. We're going into okay. legit 247 versus Smash Daddy. Um. Legit using that down tilt very good for catching those spot dodge. One of yeah. both these characters have is that they can't cancel some of their normals into their specials. Yeah. They can rack up down to very fast. So one thing, another. <laughs> one thing uh, Terry has to worry about is that Ken's got short. You can can kill Mad early. What well, Terry has to look, or uh, Ken has to look out for is obviously Jeff Hardy and when Terry gets like a kill. Ooh, takes the stock. That was nice. So gets the the power dunk to finish off the, the first stock of this set. So one thing that's interesting in this matchup is that Ken has a lot of kill confirms before 100. So if Voodoo Pop is able to take the stock before uh, Terry gets that go meter, that'll be huge if he's able to take the stock below 100. So that's definitely one thing I would see being a priority in his mind because when Terry gets go. That, that's uh, that's right, because a that's different scary. beast. He's able so, to get Buster Wolf. And Power Geyser. Yeah. So it's always good to take out Terry before he gets to that, before he gets stays in for too long, because he can rack up damage with him. Yeah. So we're seeing legit 247 take a huge lead to start. Nice uh, Shoryu catch. That was a bit risky, but he was able to take it. Oh, and gets another sure you once again. Unfortunately, now, see, that's the thing. So. It didn't kill. Oh, and he fell out. I don't know if that was really good SDR or not, but either way, the power geyser catches the spot dodge, and now we're seeing a huge lead and Terry with the go leader. Voodoo Pop's definitely going to want to take the stock right away, as he does with that sure you. Really nice. It's so always good to make sure that Terry does not always have access to go, because that's just trouble if he stays with it for too long. Yeah. Like, getting that jab power down does a lot of damage for a basic combo. Yeah. Very good. Uh, basic Terry combo. You, you're going to see jab jab power dunk a lot. Power dunk just in general. It's a really good move. Especially when you do the uh, end play. I believe it has, like, armor. Yeah. The down tilt into jab jab power dunk. So we're seeing lots of damage. This huge lead that legit 247 has using the backwards special which is something only Terry has yeah and now Voodoo Pop is gonna need some some magic to make this comeback but with Ken and his kill power it's yeah. always possible but well, unfortunately it's not down gonna happen yeah. down tilt into forward smash down tilt is such a good uh, tool or was not... that a down smash it was down tilt into F smash okay not only is down tilt really good it can set up into grabs and into his other specials, especially when he gets go, he can actually combo it into uh, either Buster Wolf or Power Geyser. Mm -hmm. So while Ken was really good at make, doing up damage, Terry just made it look like it was just child's play. Yeah. Very so one interesting on thing. Game. One interesting thing about the matchup between the two fighting game characters is that both of them have auto turn. So instead of one character, you're usually going to see Ken or Terry or Ryu alone with auto turn. But having them both always face each other is an interesting thing. They don't have as much access to their uh, back air. Mm -hmm, but sure. also there are some benefits. I mean, a lot of Ken mains have mentioned that they think it's a benefit, the auto turn. But then there are a lot of people that are vocal about how it's a nerf, so it'll be interesting. Yeah. Either way, both of them have it, so... I mean, the cross-up, the turnaround is good because you can't really be crossed up as easily. Yeah. So if somebody tries to cross you up, you'll automatically turn towards them instead of having to take a gas and do the inputs manually. Mm hmm Seen a lot of Kens go for down tilt, get crossed up, down tilt hits anyways, and they're able to get a combo out of it. So stage picks wise, let's see. Um, where do you think they'll take it? Preferably if um, Ken really prefers having a low loop, low roof. Just because of how early Shoryuken can kill, like it can kill like pretty heavy characters at very low percents, especially if it's DI'd wrong. So I'd probably be surprised to see if Yoshi's um, Battlefield's probably also good. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're There's gonna probably... see. Terry is a lot. He has a lot more uh, options to kill horizontally That's than true. Ken. So I would imagine if legit loses this game. Uh, or maybe okay. Actually, I'll word this differently. Okay, now that they're both going Terry, 
I'm expecting to see something like Town and City or Kalos. Yeah. Oh, just going straight back hey. there. Yeah, I mean, that's just the classic, a flat stage. Both of these characters and Voodoo Pop has decided to ditto legit. Looking pretty close early on. I guess one of the problems was with Ken is that he had to get in close, and Terry has no problem with dealing with people who have to go up close. So we probably match him. Want to match him with uh, what he can do? Have... So so legit has had a strong start, but you never know with uh go. with that go meter. But it's already gone. Legit is just playing wonderfully here. He's applying pressure really well. Knows when to go for combos, and when he does, he gets a lot out of them. Game that can man input a rising rising tackle. Very good. Very just go on. Bring one all the way up. One of the problems that uh, Terry has uh, his recovery. Not a lot of his moves snap to ledge. Yeah. Uh, That's why it's so important to get that charge input at times, because that could that could be a di the difference between life and death. Either way, Legit continues just like the first game. We're seeing Legit carry on and can just continue with this lead. The goal meter is not utilized at all as Voodoo Pop was not able to get back. And now we're seeing a 3-1 to one stock lead. And he has the goal meter. This is going to be tough. Now this is hard. You're one stock behind and Terry's got go with two stocks ahead. Voodoo Pop's going to need to take this. Voodoo Pop's going to need to take this immediately to this first stock or else it's it'll probably be over. But I like where what Legit is doing. He's waiting for uh, Terry to use all of his options. You saw when uh, Voodoo Pop tried to go for Terry. Oh, oh, and a wonderful Buster Wolf ends it in style, gets the combo, yeah, and did. gets a three stock in the Kendo. Yeah. A very legit win, as you can say. <laughs> legit 247 moves on. Yeah. Smash Daddy. Of course, you're going to eat losers. Yeah, still got the losers bracket. So anyone that loses here on stream at the moment. They still got the chance. Don't consider them down and out. Yeah. So, that was very interesting seeing two uh, traditional fighters going at it over in a Smash game. <laughs>